battered, battle-worn. We're talking about those downtown parking meters in Fort Myers. You ever wonder about the accuracy of those meters and whether you may have been shortchanged, perhaps? Four in your corner investigator Alan Jennings putting them to the test. And wait till you see what he discovered in tonight's special report. Hey, Alan Jennings downtown checking parking meters for you. Look what we discovered. Coin-operated parking meters, and they're all over the city. This is 2017, right? These things look like they came out of an antique store. And to make matters worse, they've probably been hit, you know, who knows how many times. Cars, buses, maybe even a tank, for goodness sake. So how do you trust the timing mechanism? And did you get a ticket that you didn't deserve? So I went to work to get you some answers. Fox 4 discovered parking enforcement is at a fever pitch downtown. Fox 4 cameras captured an army of unforgiving agents. Oh, excuse me. I soon found out they're parking ambassadors, punishing taxpayers the instant they find an expired meter. $17.40. Some drivers told me they feel like they've committed a crime. It's a relentless pursuit. They take pictures, lots of them, of your car to prove that they got you. You know, we caught this parking ambassador welcoming this driver to Fort Myers with her very polite Southern hospitality. Let's watch this one. Is this you? Yeah. You know what? Once I print it, there's nothing I can do about it. Love the flailing arms, right? Tough luck. Can't help you, bud, but come back to Fort Myers real soon. Can you talk to us for a minute? Try to confront this parking ambassador so we could talk and he just walked away. Tracking the truth is what we do. You ready? Fort Myers invested in high tech ticketing, but the aging meters and their doubtful timing devices remain like this one we found. You can play games with this little twister to show that it's not expired. We found many meters so old you can't see how much time you just paid for. And that's not all. Fox 4 discovered a lot of meters with stickers slapped on them, demanding quarters only. Well, we came here last week and we had to leave because they had no quarters on them. And there's no place to get change. So if you don't have quarters, you're stuck. Why a demand for quarters only? Well, I popped in a few nickels and it worked fine. The meters will take a combination of quarters, nickels and dimes. But the city insists on demanding quarters. Inconvenient for sure. Okay. Contacted city officials. We wanted to see copies of the cash audits, right? On those parking meters. Who collects the coins? Are they all accounted for? How much does the city get? And we wanted to see a maintenance law to determine how often those timing devices in the meters, how often they're calibrated. So the city's response, you're going to love this one. They said, look, we've got a contract with Denison Parking call them about the audits. So I did. Denison's response, check this out. Mr. Jennings, our contract with Fort Myers does not require us to perform annual audits. What was that? Our city officials have no idea how much money is collected and accounted for. No audits. Can't tell if the meters are broken. Show you how defective this is. Look at that. Real nice, huh? They sure know how to hand out those bad meter parking tickets. It's like taking money out of my out of my parents. You know, it's like here, handle it to me. It's not fair. Hell no. <laughs> and by the way, those audits that we were originally told didn't exist, the city now admits that they do exist. Where are they? We want to see them for you. Alan Jennings, Fox 4 in your corner. Thank you, Alan. Alan also timing a few of those meters with a stopwatch to see if they really do give you what you pay for. He did not notice any issues with timing, but again, he only tested a few of them.